Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nicole, of course. Today we are going to be trying Taco Bell's new menu item. I heard they had a new cheesy jalapeno Mexican pizza and they also have some new chicken rolled up tacos, something like that. And last but not least, they also have their new strawberry freezy which which looks absolutely delicious and refreshing for this hot day in Vegas. Whew. Before we dive in, you know we have to grab a prayer real quick and then we can start. So let's bow our heads to pray. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Whew. Honestly guys, well, I have something big to tell you, so stick around for a while. But first, I'm going to go ahead and try this. And I have a little quick, funny, two-second story to share with you um, as I was going through the drive through But let's check out the new menu items first. Let's not skip past that because, honestly, remember I was telling you guys that I was going to do this video or go to my uh, Taco Bell um, and then I decided to go uh, veer off and try. Okay. Excuse me. Recording here. Recording. Thank you. You hear the bird? <laughs> no, so I um, veered off and I, uh, it was basically in the same parking lot. And I did the teriyaki madness um, instead because I thought that this Mexican pizza was just like they were just bringing it back. Um, but I know it was a cheesy jalapeno, jalapeno Mexican, excuse me, <laughs> um, pizza. So that looks yummy. Take a look at that right there real quick. Mm -mm -mm. And then um, you can either get a two piece or four piece of these chicken roll ups. They actually reminded me of like, what is it called? Like taquitos that you can buy at the grocery store. Um, I'm not sure if these are like brand new, brand new to the uh, Taco Bell menu because I don't remember them having these, but you can get them in a pack of four or two. And then you can choose from um, different dipping sauces. So this is, hold on, I gotta see what that is actually. <laughs> Spicy um, Ranch, there's Spicy Ranch, they didn't give me, the, the Spicy Ranch Cheesy Dipping Sauce, and then I asked for all three, but it's okay. Um, they At least they didn't charge me. The other one was avocado. And then I got some hot sauce and my fork. So anywho, I was ordering and I was just basically, you know, trying to name off all of the new menu items and, I'm, and I named all of this stuff and I said, do you have anything else um, new that I'm just like not seeing? And um, he didn't hear me the first time so I just repeated myself and then he didn't hear me again and I was like, you know what, it's okay, don't worry about it, like um, that's all for me. And then he was like, okay, cool, I'll pull up to, um, pull up to pay. and. He was, I handed him the, the money or whatever, and I look he kind of want to try these first. He handed me the money, I mean, I handed him the money, and then I was just, as I was going through my purse, because I thought it was going to, like, take a second. They have that stuff ready and out the door in two seconds. Um, so I was putting hand sanitizer on, and he, op in the middle of it, like, of me rubbing my hands together, he opens up the, up the window and hands me my um my change back like the dollar bills and then he holds up like I grab it and I thought like I didn't have any change with it I don't know why I was just doing too many things at once and then he holds out the change like this and I'm thinking like he's trying to fist like a like a dap like a dap up and he's like change change and I was like oh my gosh I don't know why I thought that you're trying to like <laughs> do that and he just the uh, two employees just start cracking up and I'm like I don't know what I'm thinking sorry my mind's all over the place <clears throat> mm, okay so let's try this this is the what did I say this was the ranch 
This sauce is really yummy. And I like these. There's chicken and cheese inside. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan of this. Mm-hmm. favorite thing at Taco Bell. I usually just get a steak quesadilla and a Baja Blast, but mm. this is really, really good. strawberry freezy this is good too mm. I wish I would have got a bigger version of this not a small the large one Whew. okay it's really good I'm obsessed with this sauce did they always have this sauce because if they did and I didn't know about it now I'm going to order it all of the time let's try it with the cheese dipping sauce and this cheese is warm too, by the way. Like melted nacho cheese. Mm. Let's get a good dip in there. There you go. The cheese is good, but I definitely prefer the other one more. Mm. Mm. At least they're made fresh. <clears throat> fresh and hot. I'm running out of my sauce. Mmm. I think just this combination together is so good. And the thing is, I'm usually like, chicken tacos are like okay. But they're definitely not like my first choice. I would prefer steak. But these, I'm a really big fan. Just trying to brush off all the crumbs out, out my window so I don't have it in my car. Mm. Also, if you hear that in the background, it's construction over there. They're working on something at the moment. Mm. That is just so good. All right, let's dive into the Mexican pizza. And then I can get into something very, very serious that just recently happened to me um, like a couple days ago. And Loki has me spooked, if I'm totally honest. Um, but we'll get into that. Ooh, look it. Mmm. 
Should we put some hot sauce on there? <clears throat> so to start off with, just I'm just saying like Vegas in general, it definitely has its ups and downs. You know, it can be it can be amazing and then at some time others times, you know, it can be kind of like sketchy hit or miss. I don't know how many of you guys were on the live that I did before I went to Milwaukee. But I was on live on YouTube walking on the strip and there was a homeless woman and mind you I was minding my business that's the day that I wore like a skirt like a sporty kind of skirt that's from Victoria's Secret it was gray and I had a pink like t-shirt on that was um tie-dyed Navarda Navarda is it Navarda Navarra something like that with a smiley face um, I'm telling you that because I showed you my outfit in that live. But anywho, I was walking on the strip, minding my business, you know, going live. And this woman, she was passing, or we were passing each other. I think it was like right in front of the Flamingo Hotel or somewhere around there. And uh, she was just kind of like talking to herself a little bit and then like not lunged at me but kind of like went like this and was like f w h o r e and i was like whoa like dang you know like i didn't do anything to you i don't know why i mean she looked like she was unstable so i get it Then again, I don't get it because, I mean, you still shouldn't be doing all that. And... I think it was because of, like, what I was wearing. So, you know, that freaked me out a little bit. And I was kind of like, mmm. Mmm. This is good, but it's really flimsy. It's good. And like, I could eat it, but it's just not my favorite. I definitely prefer these over the Mexican pizza. I like the fact that they added jalapenos to it to kind of kick it up a notch in spice level, but not my favorite. <clears throat> so anyways yeah I uh so she said that and I was kind of like taken back at first I was like really shocked because you know a couple of years ago I don't know how I would have reacted probably you know in a different way but then again, I don't know if I should have because, like I said, she just seemed like very unstable and wasn't maybe all the way there um, in her mental. So I think it's best to just like keep going. And I believe um, no one was by us either. And I was walking alone because sometimes I only mention that because sometimes I walk on the strip. Um, Dalvin and I walk together. Um, so yeah, this time I was completely alone. So that kind of, you know, been sitting on my mind for a while. 
but this is the big news that I need to tell you which is like really really frightening and I think what I'm gonna do is start paying for a garage at my apartment because a couple days ago um and I lived in, I live in like a gated community or yeah a gated community like apartment community building and I don't know like I put a camera I have cameras and um so I don't know how they like got through I don't know if they just went in while someone else who lived there was coming in late at night but somehow they got in and it was a black SUV I didn't get the license plate um number but I don't know this is so scary to me I got it all on tape and everything too so don't worry I reported it to the police so I caught so okay okay so basically sorry let me just get my mindset together basically what I caught on my camera was um, a group of at least three people pulling up in a black SUV around like 1 a.m. in the morning checking people's car doors and luckily I'm always like on my stuff I'm always locking I never ever leave my car door unlocked even if I'm like running back inside I don't care what it may be I might just get out and like walk to that stop sign right there I don't care no matter what I'm always locking my car door and so um the car pulls up and there's one driver and then there's two other people that get out and um, the other person's on the other side checking um, cars and the person that came, the man that came up to my door and was checking in his other hand, he had a weapon and they were both masked up with hoodies and like just their eyes were showing so they weren't very like identi identifiable. Um, and like I said, I couldn't even get there um, license plate because it didn't show up in my camera but I did have you know them getting out and um, he was just kind of like looking around at first and he was just holding his thing like closer to his body but he went up to my car door and like checked it a couple times and then uh, kind of just like slowly walked away and went over to the next car and honestly that has been like just it shook me to my core and like I said I did report it and um they the metro police said that they were going to have a car come out you know and patrol um our area which I don't know how long you know like I don't know if it's going to be for like the next couple of nights or like how long they're going to be doing it for they definitely did come out and do it because I have them on, on camera but um I just don't know how long like how long they're going to be doing that for so I think what they need to do in my apartment complex is what they need to do is like put a um, camera right in the beginning like where the gate is so that they can catch the license plate number and figure out you know because that's like serious if someone has a weapon and if they are if they have like stealing cars is one thing but to have like a weapon on you and they're r ready and prepared for like I don't know anything what that's telling me is they have nothing to lose you know what I'm saying like so I'm definitely if even if I was up I, I was sleeping during that time at 1 a.m but even if I was up and I like I got the notification I wouldn't obviously like I would call the cops I wouldn't like run out there and be like stop da 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 because I'm just putting myself in danger at that point um but luckily I always lock my car door and um 
obviously my house store like no matter what no ifs ands or buts uh my mom always was on me about that like she always just like drilled that stuff in my head um since i was younger like was just locking doors in general and just being responsible so i don't know if they got into other cars or not but yeah that's I've been kind of, since that happened, I've been kind of like, um, waking up more throughout the middle of the night. Like I'm, it's kind of like always in the back of my head throughout the days and nights. But like when I go to sleep at night, I'm just thinking about it, you know? So past couple of days I've been, I haven't been having like the best sleep and <clears throat> hopefully I'm hoping they don't come back because that's the last thing I need right now is like for my car to get taken and I feel like I stand out well, never mind. I'm not even going to say that. But my car definitely stands out in like a different way. So I don't know. Then again, if they really wanted to do it, they could just break the window, right? I hope and pray like that's not, that doesn't happen. They don't get that desperate. But for everyone out there, because obviously this just doesn't only happen in Vegas. It happens all over. But I just want to put a reminder out there that, you know, always lock your car door. Because I just never imagined, you know, that happening to me. This wind, this wind is really messing with me. Honestly, I just, yeah, just be careful all, overall in general, you know, because honestly, I've been hearing a lot of stuff, whether if I'm on TikTok or scrolling on Facebook, Instagram, there's been a lot of shootings and deaths and, oh, there was just a woman on the highway here again. A couple days ago, a woman's body was found on the highway and they don't know if she was hit. And, and I guess after, she, I guess a couple cars like rolled, have been like rolled over her um, before her body was found. So that's super sad. And I, my prayers go out to her family. I, they don't know if she was homeless or not um they didn't really like put that out there it's fairly new <clears throat> but Too much stuff is happening in this world and it's truly just so sad also I've been keeping kind of tabs on the man that broke out of jail and what is it Pennsylvania I think he's been on the run for two weeks and then he showed up I believe in Cal Colorado at his old like roommates house uh, asking him for help and the man said no like I'm not helping you go somewhere else 
and the guy was like freshly shaved he tried to change his appearance every time I go to the gym in the morning it's always on TV um, so they just caught him today so thank goodness for that let's try to be on top of that and not have him break out again because I don't know what he did like to get locked up in the first place but how do you even escape from prison like how is that even a thing what did he do dig a hole crazy <clears throat> oh and now one last thing I don't know if you guys have been hearing about it but the alert that's supposed to come on October 4th across our phones our TVs it's supposed to just be like you know a um like a test but I don't know I'm hoping it is just a test and nothing more serious because mm -mm. <clears throat> so yeah by the way also if you are in the Nevada area it's not that big so just remember to always lock your car doors well anywhere in the world just always remember to lock your car doors and I even just came across a TikTok that I found hilarious because I do this personally I've been wanting to post it on my I don't know if I did or not um but it's just a TikTok of like a guy getting out of his car and going into like Walmart or Target. But he locks his door right, right when he gets out, like walks a couple feet, locks it again. And then as he's like going and then like walks a little bit more, um, uh, like closer to the store, and clicks the clicker again. I'm like, dude, that's me. And as soon as like you get to the, the, the entrance of the store, you click it again. You're in the store, you click it. I'm like, oh my gosh, if that's not me, I have to hear it like not legit 20 times, but obviously I'm over exaggerating. No, I'm seriously, I'm on that stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm not messing around. I don't have time for that. I don't have no kind of time for that at all. Anywho, I think that's about it. <clears throat> Mexican pizza, it's just not my favorite. It's okay. I just don't like how like flimsy the shell is and I like the jalapenos on it. It's nice that they're switching things up, but I definitely preferred the chicken rolled up tacos over the Mexican pizza. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section if you tried it. If you haven't, 100% still get the chicken rolled up tacos um, with the spicy ranch because that right there is a really good snack and it's super cheap too where did i put those Excuse me. <clears throat> how much was it for those chicken roll-ups five bucks and then you get this sauce for free it comes with it so
not bad all right i love you guys so much you can find me here on youtube and instagram and nicole of course and on snapchat twitter tiktok and facebook uh tiktok it's nicole of course with two e's at the end facebook is nicole of course with no spaces i got a new one i will catch you guys in a different video or live i love you so much bye guys